Hey guys, it's a History Nerd. And what could this be? We're finally back with some Civ 5. So, um, new series. Had, had a few requests for this. This, I mean, obviously I started my channel doing Civ 5 when it came out with the uh, Gods and Kings expansion. Civ 5 was the first series I've ever done. And quite sadly, the most successful uh, series that I've done with Civ 5 was the first one, and it was never really finished. Say it never really finished? Yeah, because apparently, unlike the way I thought in my head, um, I'm not very good at this game. Shocker, I'm not very good at any games. Regardless, you guys were like, well, some of you guys were like, hey, you know, you should do another Civ game. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that would be fun, but you gotta turn the difficulty up. Which seems crazy. You guys have seen me fail numerous times at Prince. Apparently, you guys want harder difficulty, so I've done one level higher. I've got up to King. Not going higher than that. That's ridiculous. Um, so, I mean, basically, here's the setup. We've got 24 city-states. We've got continents plus, because we got islands, cha island chains and city-states and fun things like that. A huge map size. Uh, King. Standard game pace. I know, you know, people like those marathon and um, epic and marathon games, but don't just take way too much time. Starting in the ancient era, era not area, four billion year old world, uh, temperate temperature, normal rainfall, medium sea levels, legendary start, because I like legendary starts. Um, obviously, there's there's tons of things that you could do. Strategic balance is also a good one. But legendary start is fun because then I will have things that are good for me it's around Paris, which is really what's critical. Um, victory types, we're going to turn them all on. Advanced game options, max turns, that's ridiculous. Uh, allow policy saving. Hmm. Nope. Basically, we're not going to do any of these. Although, what I do like, where was it? Where was it? There's one that's like... Ah, there we go. Complete kills. In order to be eliminated from the game, a player must have all of his cities and units destroyed. You know what? We're turning that on. Because I think that sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, we're not going to bother with new random seeds or anything like that. Um, basically because we don't need to have it going cray-cray the entire time. We'll leave it as Napoleon, and we'll go ahead and start this sucker up. Long life and triumph to you. First consul and emperor of France, Napoleon I, ruler of the French people. France lies at the heart of Europe. Long has Paris been the world center of culture, arts, and letters. Although surrounded by competitors and often enemies, France has endured as a great nation. Its armies have marched triumphantly into battle from one end of the world to the other. Its soldiers and generals among the best in history. Napoleon Bonaparte, France yearns for you to rebuild your empire, to lead her once more to glory and greatness, to make France once more the epicenter of culture and refinement. Emperor, will you ride once more against your foes? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Time will tell, friendly narrator voice, time will tell. Many of you might be wondering, history nerd, you idiot, you've already done a playthrough of Civ with France and it didn't go well, and you're right, it didn't. But the reason I picked France is twofold. One, uh, they were changed with the uh, latest expansion, which is now like a year old or something. So um, they've got a slightly different way to play. They've got chateaus now to uh, do things chateau-y. Uh, actually, I think it, it helps increase um, culture bonuses so uh, with uh, plantations. There we go, let's get that full thought out. So when I get a plantation here on this incense field, for instance, uh, later on in the game I can build a chateau and that'll get me more culture, which is good. As France, we're going for a culture victory, but you know, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to entirely focus on culture. We can go military, we can do a lot of things because it's France. Um, now, the second reason I picked France uh, is because of the intro song I get to play in the title. France has one of the best techno remix national anthems I've ever heard. So, that's my personal selfish reason for picking France, is because I love the intro music I get to play. That's just how we're rolling. So, what's the plan? 
Like I said, culture victory, but you know, we're not gonna tie ourselves to that because I don't enjoy tying myself to any sort of victory condition, uh, especially not in Civ. There's a lot of things that emerge throughout a gameplay that can uh, adjust things. Or even, uh, as viewers of my channel will know, just make it so that nothing happens or we lose. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just giving anybody a heads up who might be new to my Civilization games, who haven't watched them. Uh, since the last one, we have had a few more subscribers join. And uh, I don't know if you're going to click here and watch this, but if you are, know this. D don't expect greatness. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But critically, I think, expect enjoyment. And, um, you know, provided you don't butt clench like crazy when you're watching my videos. If you do, Civ might not be the series for you, just an FYI. So that's, that's, the, that's the thought processes going on in my head. Um, I like the idea of building a monument before a worker. I realize we need to get work workers in there and get the workforce starting, but that's how I'm rolling. And I guess we should probably, we'll go this way, find the coastline and then bring it back down here because that's, you know, nothing really. What are we attacking on? Grasslands. So we will go with Shock, which should give us a nice little bonus. And yeah, let's hit him. Good. We got some bananas up there. That's handy. I was hoping, I'll be honest, for a lot more plantations. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he... Thank you. What's up here? Ooh, hello. Give me weapons. No nope. other population. Well, that's that's okay too. So the barbarian camp, so they can't spawn anybody else. No, let's not end the barbarian camp, so they possibly spawn someone else. That's fine. Uh, the next up, I think we're gonna go with no, not mining. What do we need there? Trapping. Trapping. We got a lot of hogs around here, so we might as well utilize all the truffles we can get. And that is exactly what I was afraid of. So I'm blaming King level difficulty already. If I was playing on Prince, that unit would have died. And as it stands, I can't really attack them. I'm going to get my ass kicked. So let's retreat up onto the hill and get ourselves in a slightly better defensive position. All right. Um, you come down. And you're just going to fortify until you're healed. I don't think they can take us out. So, we'll see. Maybe they can. Haha! <laughs> we live to fight another day, although we won't survive another attack. So it's time to retreat. And just as an aside, a little house rule that I want to set up just for the comments. Usually I don't do this, and usually I don't have to, because um, most of my commenters, in fact, I'd say damn well nearly all of my commenters, are excellent, wonderful people who are supportive and, and you know, got good ideas and all these other things. There will be no bashing of the French military. Now, you can bash my distribution of the French military, but I don't want to be coming in here and seeing comments about cheese-eating surrender monkeys. Do your research. The French are one of the most successful military powers in the world. So, um, yeah, that's the only rule I got. And I don't know what I'll do if you break it. Probably nothing. But that's just a little personal request from me to you. No mockery of the French, because they actually do kick ass when it comes to war fighting. Yeah, come on. Let's just keep going around. We got some nice gems over there. The concern with that is all the marshland. Um, although, there, it's probably a good spot for a uh, port. Because you got the gems for a little bit of production. Some of them jungles for sciency reasons. And it's not too far from Paris to make a road network prohibitively expensive. All right, let's just scope that out. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go down and we'll take that ruin too. 
Uh, our first idea set. I think we're going to want culture. So now the trick here is three culture in the capital is great if you're keeping it small. One culture in every city is better provided you've got more than, what, three cities? We're going to have more than three cities. Usually I go for tradition right away, but it's the French, man. We're going to go with liberty. We're going to go down that route. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. At the very least, we'll be able to get the pyramids and theoretically, yay, a lot of uh, cities and weapons and, and all those things that will make this Civ Empire a true empire. Uh, and I, the reason why I was so excited. Benvenuto a Venezia. Soldoge e ricco dando. How's it going, Venice? Now this excites me. If Venice is a neighbor, then that means there's going to be a lot of land over by where Venice lives. They can only build one city. And so that's good. I'm thrilled that Venice is a neighbor. Because the chances of getting... Um, I guess pottery would probably be a better bet. But with all the uh, things we want. Non sarà valida per tanto tempo. Pensegue. I like the fact that you want to pay me for this. I really do appreciate that. But I would prefer to have an embassy deal where we both open embassies together. And that means I'm going to require writing. Pakal, man, you're preparing for the apocalypse already? I don't want to, like, question other societies and stuff like that. But, I mean, you just, like, the game just started. And you're already preparing for an apocalypse? Not to mention, might I add, you've got spearmen, sir. So, I don't think you need to be worried about an apocalypse coming along. And you've probably, you probably got those spearmen from those ruins up there. Would be my guess. No. Don't take it the wrong way. It's not a slight against you guys. It's just... It's, it's how we roll. We should be able to finish these guys off now. Beautiful. Okay, we'll go with um, rough terrain. So we get a good balance between the flat, smooth terrain and the rough terrain. This will be a useful infantry unit for both, both areas. And there we go. We've taken care of that barbarian. I see you running in there trying to get that gold. That ain't going to happen, my friend. Oh, no! You will get the gold! Game's over. We've lost. Jackasses. <laughs> oh, hello. So this is why we need to do uh, complete scouting and not focus on one area of the map. Lessons learned, you know. Well, we can just actually pop you up there. And I doubt they'll come for you. If they do, they're silly. Let's send our armed scouts to the east. Scout out this area of the world. And pop up. Perfect. We should be able to finish you off. Not quite. Well, then we'll just... We'll let our troops rest and relax in the hills next to Paris. Two barbarian units. It's quite the invasion force you have coming, barbarians. Not sure I appreciate it. Now let's see, what do we want? Tile improvement construction race increased by 25% and a worker appears near the capital. Or plus one production in every city and 5% production in cities when constructing buildings. We'll go with that one for now. Mainly because I'm almost done that worker. And I don't necessarily need two. So we'll just ride that out and we'll get ourselves writing next so we can get embassies with everybody without them having to pay us and then work out a completely different uh, diplomatic deal, you know, in the future. That's basically the reason why I did that, is just to keep my diplomacy easier. I'm sure the two gold a month or the two gold a turn that I'd be getting from the other two nations would be helpful but not really necessary. Right, we'll just 
just keep ganking those guys down. I like it. These guys will be in range of my super scouts, so that's handy. And what we'll do, we'll knock these guys out with the city. I hope. Good. So I can move the warriors in close and get them next turn. Pepper those guys with the arrows. Yeah. Suck it. And charge in. We took a bit more damage. They're fortified on a hill, so that's to be expected. Which is why I'm glad I've got ranged units along. Son of a bitch. Okay. Move back into a defensive position. You go there. And we've got a worker down. So, yeah, let's get started on these truffles. Although, I don't... I don't think I can chop down the jungle. I don't think I need to for a... huddy thingy. A trapper's tent. A huddy thingy. In case you haven't seen one of my Civ series before, you'll know that I name things stupidly. Because that's just how I roll. Yeah, we'll go that way, and then we'll go this way. Thank you. And we got another ruin discovered. There are a lot of ruins on this map. I'm okay with that. Yeah, please, by all means, throw yourself up against the hill. We can just... Uh, no hills, because they're out in the open. We'll just sit here and shoot you apart. I'm okay with that. You keep doing your thing. We'll just wait it out. Don't run. Where's the fun in that? Alright, let's send you over to grab this. He who just oh, we researched writing. Thank you. Wish you had given us a thing that we hadn't put any time into, but that's that's fine. You know, I'll take it. Uh, let's just take a look at the tech tree and see what we're going to need. We got a settler on the way, which means we're going to need roads, which means we're going to need archery. We're going to need archery anyway. It's a very important skill to have. But now we can talk to our friends here. Salute. And how about that? Fubbing. Perfect. Now I know where you're at. Malo, king. How about an embassy? Perfect. Now I know where you at too. So Venice is way down here. That means we can probably expand to the southwest without too much concern of coming into another sieve. And the Mayans? Yes, good. The Mayans are up here and it looks like they got a lot of silk. So that's um, tempting to attack, to be honest. And I do realize that that is something that I have issues with when I play Civ, is actually being aggressive enough. I'm not a very aggressive person when it comes to life, so I'd rather let, you know, let people live and let live. It's my motto in life, and um, that's something I'm just going to have to be consciously aware of while we go through this, is I need to be an aggressive dick. I mean, I am Napoleon, so I should, in my head, just instinctively know I've got to be an aggressive dick. But sometimes I just need to be reminded. Um... Yeah, I want to go up that way. There we go. And we've got our truffle camp done. That's good. So we'll go get some more. It looks like we're going to be the source of truffles, which honestly is pretty fitting for France. A lot of good farmland up north. Oh, and there's the Japanese getting their second city up. So that's always a concern, because obviously we need to get <clears throat> we need to get our second city up too, and we need to find a good location for that. Possibly, let's see, possibly here. We got bananas. We'll be close to horses, and we've got a lot of good production. Plus, it's on the sea. We don't have any sea resources though, which is why down here is tempting. Excuse me while I silently hiccup while trying to talk. Um, it's tempting to go down there because of the sea resources, basically. Although over here would be good too. 
get lots of, um, or get some more incense that way. We'll get ourselves another worker. Because we'll need them. Yeah, you can build that for now. Looks like the mines have completed the great library, so there goes that idea. If we ever had it, and, you know, I mean... I would have liked to have built the Great Library, don't get me wrong, but my entire game-winning strategy... Aw, oh, crap. Which probably isn't a, a game-winning strategy at all, but my entire strategy doesn't hinge on me necessarily having the Great Library. Alright, well... That's a concern. How much damage can we do? Probably not enough. Let's run away. No comments about the French being cheese-eating surrender monkeys. <laughs> None. <laughs> Get up on that hill and, and rest up. We'll see if we can't... Um, ...get you healed up. So the game is telling me, Hey, this would be a great place to put a city. Because there's going to be resources to boost happiness, like citrus trees and gems and that's great but i mean it is a bit of a distance from paris and the only reason that's a concern is because of the cost of roads and just how that's gone about so i'm thinking well is it really which is farther this is definitely farther so up here might be better. We've got some production resources. We've got some incense close by. Up here would be even better. And we would actually expand far enough eventually to get a hold of those fish sources, plus all the food. And I think we're going to send them up there. That seems like a good idea in my head. It's probably hands down the worst place to go, but screw it. That's where we're going. Uh, what can we... We definitely need a library get our research up. We're only generating eight science a turn at the moment. I'd like to make sure that that gets better. And slowly head south and see if we can't find the Japanese. So you're going to go there, which means you're going to go up here and then build a road once we can. Right now we can't. And that's okay, because we'll get a road up eventually. I have faith in France. Yeah, come at me. I mean, now you can charge me, and I could care less. You're not going to do any damage. Well, you're going to do some damage. Not enough to cause me pain. Uh, well, we're waiting for the road technology to get researched. We'll just get those guys to build a cow farm. Paris demands sugar. And I have complained about that before, but I'll complain about it, about it again because why not? This is this is my video series. I'm going to talk about and complain about what I want. Um, I don't know in this game what sugar is, so it kind of bothers me that the citizens of Paris are like, we want sugar. Because basically what they're saying is, we want a plant that makes things really, like, sweet tasting. What's sweet tasting? We, I, mean, I don't even know if we've got a baseline for that. We've got a lot of truffles, and we perhaps have some incense, but we don't have any fruit or anything like that that I can see. So how would these people even know that they want sugar when they don't even know what sugar is or tastes like? Hmm? This, is, this is the way I think about Civ games. <laughs> um, I think we're going to go for a monument. because we, we could use the culture boost now that we've got a second city up. Uh, advancing cities is going to, or advancing our culture is going to be more expensive. So the more we can get up, the better. Fortify that guy, heal him up. And that guy should finish his cow farm relatively quickly. We can get the road to Orleans going and be fine and happy. <laughs> Do you need that many swords? Like, three seems overkill. 
Oh, they don't have they don't have writing yet. Okay. Well then, we'll just wait. We'll wait for the Japanese to get writing. Yay, the wheel. All right. And I don't know why I'm scouting with a warrior. I should really do something about that. Uh, in the meantime, let's get mining because that'll be useful. We got some mines to set up. And for now, with truffles coming in, we don't particularly need to worry about uh, happiness. Seven gold a turn for truffles? Yeah, dude. I don't know why you're overpaying. Usually, it's five. So the fact that it's seven, I'm taking it. I'm taking that to the bank. Um... I mean, I don't particularly want to rescue a Japanese settler. That seems counterproductive for France. So we'll just continue on. And I don't want you to go wherever I told you to go. But, you know, hey, you're going to do what you're going to do. So, yeah, I mean, at the moment, considering it looks like Japan is going to be my closest... Um, friend, and I'll use air quotes as heavy as I want in that determination, uh, I don't want them to get any more cities. So sure, I'll get a diplomatic bonus for being a nice person, but you know, the world doesn't always reward nice people. I guess the next thing we've got is way up over there for the cow farm. Yeah, let's work together. You're you're overpaying me for truffles, buddy. So yeah, we'll work together. That's good. We got mining, so that's always handy. Uh, we'll just leave our super scouts in Paris because why not? They're not scouting, so they might as well guard the capital. Uh, we'll get calendars next. That'll be useful. Get up on that hill and we can see the coastline here. And truffles and a farmland grain wheat. <laughs> Watch as I quickly sca scavenge the world. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Sometimes I worry about my ability with the English language. Uh, what do we need here? Uh, we could use another archer. No, what we could use is another scout. Screw everything else, we need to scout. It's as much fun as it is running around having scouts sitting in Paris guarding things much better to get them out and actually exploring so um yeah taking a look at the scores we're already about 10 points behind <laughs> and everyone else is in the classical era we're nowhere near i mean we could jump in quickly and i would imagine that's what some of the ai nations have done but yeah it, the game's already starting off kind of at the pace that i was expecting i.e i'm behind Venice has built Stonehenge, good for Venice. Sorry. Don't particularly care all that much. And uh, the Japanese have got a third city on the go, so let's send our warrior back home and send out another scout. We'll just do an auto explore with him because I can't be bothered to march guys around the map anymore, basically, is all that is. Uh, let's go ahead and get bronze working so we can see where we're going to put down another city, potentially to uh develop iron really because if you take a look at our position we don't really have a lot of uh production jungle not unlike forests give you food and eventually once you get far enough along in the tech tree uh science so that's not really all that helpful we've got a lot of planes which aren't really all that helpful so we're kind of not in a good position. I wouldn't say anyway. I, I 
think that that's a fair assessment. If you ask me, we should be safe to do that and then that because these guys shouldn't have an easy way to go after my workers while they're in my borders. So hopefully we can just get those spearmen dead and gone and carry on with life. Get another shot in. You're lucky that's not my only truffle camp, is all I'm going to say. Alright, we should be able to get these guys with our archerers. Get that XP, gentlemen. Good work. And, um... Alright, so my scout went south. We can see Kyoto there on the coast. Perhaps that is the absolute bottom of the continent. I'm not sure. Uh, so in the meantime, we'll send this guy up to Orleans. Although I don't know why I did that, because this archer is going to be going to Orleans right away. So instead of having you stop in the city, let's just have you continue. And we'll give you rough terrain as well. And then we've got a new archer who can head on up that way. And let's see, what are we going to build next? I think we're going to have to go with another settler. Which is crazy to be building three cities this quickly, but... Oh, well, why don't we just do this, then? That seems like a much smarter option. Um, instead, we will go with another worker, because we're going to need it. We've got him, and the game's still telling me, hey, come on down. This is the place to be. But it's so far. It's so far. The road to connect those two cities is going to be long and expensive. And that worries me. Whereas if we look at, you know, someplace up here where we've got some silk, we've got some wheat, we're close to Orleans, we got a little bit of production going, and we I would imagine that we'd get some more production out of uh, forests and other things around there. So that might be the place to go. Like somewhere, maybe, I, I do like the thought of going right here where, you know, coming from the north, you're going to be crossing rivers to attack the city. That does always make a city, you know, better to defend. There's a little bit of iron up there, too. There's a lot of iron there, which we're going to secure from either Paris or Orleans. There's a lot of iron there. And I've got to say, I don't know how the resource distribution actually works. Because when I play Germany, I never get six iron anywhere near my cities. And I would have figured, if any country would have been, hey, these guys need iron, it would have been Germany. Apparently not. Uh, that would be, I mean, that's still a long road, though. So maybe there, not that that makes that much of a difference. But there would also work, and it would be closer to those hills and things. So I, I'm thinking that's where we're going to go with the settler. Um, I'm also hoping that, where did my axe man go? You can stay. Oh, he's up there. Right. Stop doing what you're doing. You're heading west. All right. What do we need next? Uh, masonry would be a good thing. Iron working would be pretty handy too. Although, with us going for a culture victory, something like philosophy or drama and poetry would also be incredibly helpful. So let's go down that route. Spend a bit more, you know, research points on it. We might not be fully set to get drama and poetry on the go, but I think once we get those buildings up, France will be a much more cultured place. All right, so our first source of incense is in. It should make people a bit happier. Let's have you go that way. 
friendly warriors. <laughs> I see the game you're playing. We'll have none of that. You guys just go there and set yourself up. Surprise! We've got armies. Yeah, that's looking that's still looking like a good spot. I'm okay with that. Perfect. All right. And we will build now that you're done your thing. We'll go with library. I guess a trade caravan would be good so we can open up a trade with the Mayans. Uh, no, keep keep finishing your road. We're not connected. So you're safe. Those archers aren't going to get you. Ah, uh, you need, you need a bit of tribute? Okay. That's fine. We'll keep you in our back pocket. Although, we're about to pass them. So, you know. Uh, Orleans can still fire on an enemy. That is true. So let's get you going. And then that should finish him off. Perfect. So it's still... Oh, yeah, with the stone there, that actually is a good spot to go. Because that'll give us some more production. Granted, we're on the wrong side of the river, so I might wind up moving them back across and putting them there. Because we're going to get access to that quickly enough anyway. Uh, just build a mine there, to be honest. So I guess the... Uh, the plantation would have been better for the incense. I'm not that worried. Let's just see if we can get a bit more understanding of the terrain. And I'm still kind of thinking that here, or maybe even here, would be a better bet. Because we're going to get that stone, we're going to get that hill that's north of it. Yeah, we'll go there. Alright. You stay there, Archer. -er. And we are building another worker in Paris, that's good. I wonder why the Mayans didn't get that uh, ruin up there. That's confusing me. 30 faith. That's the first amount of faith that we're generating this gameplay. So is that really where I want to go, or do I want to go here? If I go here, I can actually build Petra here, too, I believe, because it needs to be on a desert tile. So we'll do that. Leon, you're going to be the home of Petra, hopefully. You know, I'm not 100% sure that that's going to happen, but... I'd like it to happen. Alright, let's go ahead and send you across. And you're done your thing there, so how about we go fix up those truffle farms that got burned by those stinking filthy barbarians. Let's also take a look here, and I would imagine, I mean, this is Venetian land. So it's going to be wide open, uh, which means the Japanese will probably push in that direction. Found a Pantheon already? Okay. Um, I was not expecting that. So let's see what we can do to generate a lot of faith from, you know, the tiles that we've got. Basically, shrines, that's not what I'm looking for. Pastures, that's not what I'm looking for. I do like the God King. The palace provides plus one culture, faith, gold, work, or production, and science. That's always good. Uh, the Goddess of Festivals, plus one culture and plus one faith for each wine and incense. On paper, that sounds all right, because we're going to have, what, one, two, potentially three. But from what I can see, you know, that's about it. So we kind of die out quickly on that. Uh, what else have we got? Plus one culture and plus one faith for each gold and silver. That doesn't help us at all. Plus one culture from jungle tiles. Well, we've got a few jungle tiles, but we haven't really pushed on into the deep, dense jungle. And in fact, we're kind of pushing away from it. 
Uh, happiness on rivers, that would be, you know, plus one to two thirds of our cities so far. The, the, really the only thing that's kind of grabbing my attention. I was hoping there'd be plus one something for plantations, but it doesn't look like that's here. So we're going to go with the God King because that, that's just a great bonus. Plus one everything. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, come on, if anyone is going to have a god king, it's going to be France. Let's go there. Yeah, you're done. What do we got here? That wasn't what I wanted you to do. Go back. There we go. All right, so we got our new worker up. We'll send you up that way so we can do a bit more scouting out of the local area. And we are going to actually send you into Orleans. And they can get you building a road up to Lyon. And then we can take this fresh new worker and send him out to start mining the, the iron resources and fun things like that. Uh, let's see. Actually, a watermill in Paris sounds like a grand idea. Or perhaps a shrine. I mean, now that we've got a pantheon of our own, we're generating one faith per turn. But, um, you know, a shrine would double that. So that might not be a bad idea for an investment of four. Mm, watermill. Production in food, man. That goes above religion any day of the week. And I believe that this is going to be a good place to leave the video for now. So, no, no French games in there. Let's rename this sucker in France. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.